Okay, welcome back. I think in the last video we grabbed an ecliptic claymore three out on boar moon one a. So I've got it back here and we're gonna do some modifications to it before we get the guns. And I'm gonna put this image up on the screen right here. This is uh, my, my own spreadsheet and some notes, a couple pictures of the ship itself. And I'm gonna refer to the top of the ship, the main deck, which is actually the top level that comes out of the cockpit, the second deck, the boarding level. And then we'll talk about the miscellaneous items that are added on. I will put up here sections from my spreadsheet that list out what I have in here. And I will talk about the things that I have changed as I go through the actual video of making the changes. I'm just gonna put these up here so you could pause at some point in time and take a screenshot if you wanted to, or just look at it. So let's get to the rebuild. Okay, in our last episode, we got the Claymore 3, the Ecliptic Claymore 3, and we picked up Betty Hauser on the way back. She was stranded in space, so we have a crew member. But we haven't done anything with the Claymore yet, so we're going to take it to Titan, the moon of Saturn, and we're going to stop at New Homestead, which I believe sells Nova Galactic Habs. I don't think we're going to have to add anything. It's just going to be rearranging some parts. We might be able to do all these at New Atlantis, but I do know here, if I add something and remove something, come out and come back into the shipbuilder, I should be able to add a Nova Galactic component, so I'm going to do it here. I'm also going to add that nothing we change here should require a ship design skill, except for the swap that I do for the shield at the very end. And that's completely optional. The shield that's already on there is just fine. I just upgrade it. Enjoy your visit. Anything you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Okay, no problem. First thing I do is I remove that cowling and I move the or move the landing bay forward. I like that to come up in that two by two unit on the ground level. Next thing I'm going to add two helium tanks. Is there what thirteen? Yeah, a little over three thousand a piece. Not super cheap, but uh, not terrible. But this ship has a range issue. Let's move that whole top piece off. Those are fine. I don't like that control station. So we're going to convert that to a workshop. Don't like the bracer in the middle, or I really don't like the companion ways, if I can get away from them. Let's duplicate this one. We don't want it to be another workshop. We're going to convert it to a science lab. That's going to give me my pharmaceutical workbench. And we can get rid of those extra parts. We're still sitting around 6,800 credits. Let's go ahead and select this entire layer and move it out of the way. Now we can look at the ground level. So a two by two galactic brig, this is pointless and just gives us whole, I want that to be battle stations, which will give me six crew stations. I could convert that to living or, or something that gives me passenger space or anything else, but that's fine. So do not care for those companion ways in there. Those are kind of pointless. The living quarter is fine. Tuck that back in and we're just going to duplicate that one. And that's pretty cheap. We're up to 7,800 credits. And that's really the core of the hab changes I'm going to make right off the bat. So delete a few items here or there. We're at 7,500. I like those guns. Those are fine. The missiles are fine for now. We're going to we're going to overhaul the weaponry later. Let's give it a paint job. I like a simple black and white with a little bit of gray.
Ah, it looks much nicer. And the last thing I do, and this is, this may not be available depending on your ship design skill, is to put a different shield on, a 28T. Yeah, that requires Starship Design 4, but this one is uh, Starship Design 3, and it's a fine shield, and you'd be fine if you just left it on there. This is also a very expensive option, so I end up uh, putting out almost 29,000 credits. Most of that's for the shield. Selling the other shield pays for all the other changes. So let's drop out of here, go inside, and walk around. Landing bay is right up front. We're going to go straight into the uh, two by two battle stations. Straight forward. That should be the door to the bridge. I'll just go look up inside. Yep, that's the bridge. So this bottom floor is the battle station. Go around the corner. We have a nice nav table. We can actually take off and, uh, and fly from here. So if we're downstairs, we don't even have to go up to the cockpit. This should be the captain's quarters, which I do use. There's a, a bed in there to sleep. Nothing special there. And then we should have living quarters on this level, like two sets of living quarters. There's one ladder going up to the middle. So that's actually not bad, one ladder. And when we go up to the top, We have one companionway in the back, and that is our uh, docker on top. We have our pharmaceutical lab. And we have our workshop up here. So this has our industrial workbench, spacesuit, and that. And that's what I want. So this ship now has plenty of storage, and it has the ability to do crafting on board, and we'll work on the uh, We'll work on the weapons a little bit when we get a little more money and after we finish the first two United Colonies Vanguard quests and get access to the UC weapons. And I forgot one other thing, which we're going to take care of now. Need some work done? Okay, no problem. I'm going to rename it. Mitar 4. Let's shorten that. Mitar. The Mitar 4. So it's a derivative of a scimitar, which is a sword, much like the Claymore. I still have 100,000 credits on hand. That'll cover the weapons I eventually want, and uh, I will need to start collecting some more credits through some other methods, but we're still working with the original 200K. And that's it for now. Hey, if you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button. It helps. Hit the notification button. I hear that helps too. I really don't know how this works, but you guys know how to do this. I don't think I need to send you a picture or anything like that. Thanks for watching. Hope you come back again.